Experiment 177 was the 177 genetic experiment created by Jumbo with hamster wheels funding. She was originally designed to consume Eubernium, an efficient fuel source in order to cause an energy crisis. However, as Eubernium was a very similar word for hair in Jumbo's native language, the result of the genetic experiment was a hair eater. 177 and the other first 624 experiments were deactivated and smuggled to Earth by Jumbo during his mission to capture Experiment 626. All the experiment pods were released and scattered across the island of Kauai. At an unknown point after this, Experiment 177 was activated. Lilo and Stitch, the series. 177 went on a hair-eating rampage around town, devouring hair from people's scalps. Lilo and Stitch later discovered 177 and were able to capture her in a hat box outside the hotel before Gantu could. Lilo then took 177, named Cliff, back to the house and showed her to Jumbo, but he was displeased and stated that she was designed to consume uranium, a rare but valuable fuel source. However, uranium was the same word for hair in Jumbo's native language. He explained how Cliff ate most of Jumbo's hair as soon as he created her, leaving him nearly bald, which caused him to become grouchy. He then decided to disassemble Cliff as revenge, but Lilo convinced him that Cliff should be rehabilitated. The next day, Lilo and Stitch attempted to deliver Clip to the beauty salon to benefit its hair problem, but ran into Myrtle and the Hula Girls before they could do so. Myrtle insulted Lilo's hairdo and gave her a bottle of shampoo for taming wild, unruly hair. This angered Lilo enough that she resolved to punish Myrtle by using Clip on her. Myrtle needs to be punished. <laughs> Later, Lilo and Stitch stealthily sneaked into Myrtle's house and planted Clip under her pillow. That night, however, Myrtle was at a sleepover, so Clip ate the doll's hair instead, which tasted nasty. Gantu then tried to grab Clip through a window that was ajar, but the latter escaped and ate Mrs. Edmund's hair when she entered Myrtle's bedroom. After evading Gantu, Clip hitched a ride on a bus, where she devoured all of the passengers' hair. The next morning, Lilo raced a hula class to witness a bald Myrtle, but found nothing different about her hair, much to Lilo's disappointment. Myrtle then revealed that her mother was completely bald, and Lilo realized that Clip had attacked the wrong target. Lilo, Stitch, and Jumba burst into the Edmonds' home to recapture Clip, and unintentionally ambushed Mrs. Edmonds, yet calmly sorted things out with her. Mrs. Edmonds didn't seem to mind about her baldness when Lilo tried to apologize, and even admitted that she felt like the real her. She also complimented Jumba's haircut, and his afro unexpectedly grew back, much to his delight. I have hair! Inside voice, Uncle Jumba. Later, a hairless squirrel and a terrified Gantu evaded Clip, who had grown into a massive hairball from consuming so much hair. Stitch managed to save Lilo and Jumba from Clip, but got his tail shaven in the process. Gantu tried to outrun Clip, but tumbled down a hill and onto a small stage where a hula demo was held. The folks were inspired by Gantu and urged him to dance, so Gantu reluctantly complied but didn't seem to mind after a while. While the three searched for Clip, Jumba got split ends for maintaining his new hair. Lilo offered him the shampoo she got from Myrtle and figured out how to tame Clip, deducing that the latter struck the beauty salon next. Clip wreaked havoc at the salon, but she was tamed and returned to her normal size when Stitch doused her with special hair care products. Shortly after, Clip found her one true place in the salon as a hairdresser, where she gave people the perfect haircut that captured the real them. Dumba then decided to get his afro cut and told Clip to do her stuff. After she trimmed Jumba's afro, the latter was given back his normal free hairs, which was how he liked it. Elastico. Flip reappeared in Elastico as one of the audience members for Lilo's hula dance. Checkers. Flip was one of the experiments in Checkers that joined Stitch in a rebellion against Gantu. Leroy and Stitch, the movie. Clip was seen early in the movie giving Victoria a new hairstyle as Lilo was making her rounds with Scrum to make sure all the experiments were happy in the one true place they belonged. 
Later, the first 624 experiments, including Clip, were rounded up by Leroy and taken to a stadium to be destroyed. However, Lilo, Stitch, Jumba, Pleakley, Reuben, and Gantu arrived before the experiments could be destroyed. Clip participated in the following battle between the experiments and the Leroy clones by eating Leroy's fur and thus embarrassing them. However, the Leroy soon gained the upper hand in the battle, or defeated when Lilo, Stitch, Reuben, and several other experiments performed the song Aloha Hot Oi, which caused the Leroy army to shut down due to a failsafe mechanism. Special Abilities Clip can use her sharp claws to safely cut off all of the victim's hair in seconds, which she will then eat. She is able to roll into a ball, like Stitch, and glide. She converts the hair she eats into her own, which causes her to grow slightly with each feast. She also has the talent to envision the most fitting haircut for any organism, as well as cut and style it. Weaknesses Much as Clip likes to eat hair, she seems to dislike certain kinds of hair. But she expressed disgust at eating a doll's hair when she was planted in Myrtle's bedroom as part of a failed prank. Ew! Chemicals in certain shampoos and hair conditioning products, especially in hair lotions used for taming wild and unruly hair, can restore Clip to her normal size as well as tame her. I've never heard of that. Trivia. Clip was activated off screen. Clip is one of the rare experiments to not have black eyes like most experiments, having dark blue eyes instead. Clip is one of the very few experiments we have physically seen created by Jumbo. Clip expressed disgust at eating the hair of one of Myrtle's dolls, implying that she dislikes synthetic hair or cellulose-based fibers. It is unknown why Clip pursued Gantu while she was a giant hair wall, considering the fact that Gantu had no hair on him whatsoever. Clip's weakness to wild and ruling hair taming conditioner is similar to Plute's weakness to natural air freshener. As far as we know, there has never been any official clip merchandise released by Disney or any of its affiliates. However, thanks to some wonderfully creative people at Etsy, we were able to have one custom made. If you enjoyed this video, please smash a like and subscribe to the channel for more Lilo and Stitch videos. And leave a comment down in the comment section with who is your favorite experiment and which one you'd like to see us do next. Until next time, Aloha!